CData Arc is a no-code B2B integration platform that seamlessly integrates traditional B2B approaches like EDI and file transfer with a more cutting-edge API-driven approach. Modern organizations use APIs to communicate with critical aspects of their data environment, like their CRM, their ERP systems, data warehouses, and analytics platforms. Arc's new Flow API is the next step in this same philosophy. Now, you can trigger your B2B communications and EDI processes with the same simple API requests. For example, let's say I have a traditional file-based B2B workflow that generates outbound EDI documents and sends them to my trading partner via AS2. However, I want to invoke this process via an API request. Perhaps I have an orchestration system elsewhere that determines when EDI files should be sent out, but uses APIs to communicate, not files. Well, if I wrap this Arc EDI workflow in the new Flow API, I'll be able to trigger this B2B logic with a simple API request. To start, I'll get rid of this file pickup connector, and I'll add a new JSON connector to the Flow, since most API models use or support JSON. The JSON body will contain the data that I want included in my outbound EDI file, so I'll have this mapping connector to map my custom JSON format into a standard EDI format. The rest of this flow can remain the same, to generate the EDI file and send it out via AS2. To use the new Flow API feature, I'll select each of these connectors in the Flow, right-click, and then choose Create API Settings. You can see the default method for the API is POST, since we're expecting data to be contained in the API request body. Now once I've created the API, I can see the same workflow I had, but now contained in my Flow API designer. This means that the Flow can be triggered by sending API requests to the host where Arc is running, but with this path appended. Within the API settings, I can provide a sample JSON body for my API requests, which isn't required but might make it easier to map my JSON into EDI. The response to the API request will automatically include any errors generated by the flow or a success message, but I can provide a custom response body here if I wish. Now I can test the flow API by clicking the play button in the top right to provide sample input. I'll just paste in some example JSON data to simulate what our API request would contain and then hit execute. Okay, the success message here means that whatever API client is firing off this flow would receive a successful HTTP response, but without any content in the response body. And that's a brief look at how to use the Flow API within Arc. But now it's worth mentioning Arc Cloud, a cloud-hosted, fully managed version of Arc that you simply sign into, like any other cloud service. The Flow API fits well with Arc Cloud, because you can treat your EDI and B2B processes like any other cloud-hosted data solution in your environment. Simply send JSON formatted data in an API request, and the black box hosted in the cloud knows what to do with it. In this case, send out an EDI message to your trading partner. If you'd like to get started with Arc Cloud and see this for yourself, simply navigate to arc.cdata.com slash cloud and sign up. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And as always, you can find more resources at arc.cdata.com.